Hello. So for this one, I'm going to try a different approach. Let's try squaring both sides. We square all of the left side, we square all of the right side. What we will get is the first item squared plus the second item squared plus two times their product. And then square the right hand side. Now this almost looks like a relationship. Let's see what this is. So we have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one. Secant and tangent have a cosine in the denominator. So let's divide everything by cosine. And this implies that we have tangent squared x plus one equals secant squared x. Okay. So since secant squared x is equal to all of this, I can replace that here. So that's my secant squared x. One tangent squared alpha plus one tangent squared alpha is two tangent squared alphas. And then I have three minus one is two. And I have two all the way around, so I can simplify this down a little bit. Let's go down to a... Okay, now this is sine over cosine. Let me expand this out. That's your tangent plus because here you have one sine in the numerator and a product of two cosines in the denominator. Multiply everything by a cosine squared alpha. This will give me and cosine squared alpha is the same thing as one minus sine squared alpha. And now everything is in terms of sine alpha. If we add two sine squared alpha to both sides, okay, let's factor this. Because three is prime, this is the only way that this can factor. This is gonna be two and a one. Let's put the one on this side and the two on this side. And since this will be positive, this product must be bigger than this product. So this product will be positive and this product will be negative. So that three sine alpha times sine alpha is three sine squared alpha. And then three, this is plus three minus two gives you a plus one. And then negative two times positive one is a negative two. Okay, set each of these equal to zero.
So setting this side equal to zero, three sine alpha minus two equals zero, add two to both sides, divide both sides by three, and we have an unusual angle. Over here, sine alpha is negative one. This only happens when alpha is equal to three pi over two plus uh, two k pi. So let's go with arc sine of both sides. Okay. And since we are in radians, let's make sure that our calculator is in radians before we compute this. So when I do cosine of 30, I get radical 3 over 2. That tells me I'm in degrees. And then now when I do cosine of 30, I get a non-familiar number. So now I am in radians. Okay. And I get... Arc cosine of two thirds is 0.8411. I'm sorry, the sine. Let's go arc sine of two thirds is So now we are a little bit more restrictive. Now we want to find all of the solutions in this interval. Since this interval is in degrees, these answers will be in degrees. So if my x is negative 4 and my hypotenuse is 5, then the y value has to be 3. And a negative 3 would give me the same. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. Your 3, 4, 5 triangle is the right triangle. We can take the arc cosine of both sides. We take the arc cosine of both sides that isolates the theta variable. So that theta is equal to arc cosine of 4 over 5. Make sure that you are in degrees. Okay, so I am in degrees.
So this is 143 degrees. This internal angle would be 180 minus 143. So the reference angle is 36.87. If this is 36.87, then this is also 36.87. And if this is 36.87, that's uh, 180 degrees plus 36.87. Double tilde, double squiggle mark, so this is about equal to. And they just want the angles in that interval, just for one circle. So in one circle, cosine is negative in quadrants two and quadrants three. Okay, let's factor this. Five is a prime number. So let's go with a two and a three. No, let's go with a three and a two. And let's go with a plus minus. And so five sine theta times sine theta is five sine squared theta. Five sine times three is 15 sine. 15 minus two is 13. And negative two times positive three is six. Okay, so that each of these equal to zero. So we can eliminate this because sine theta has to be in between positive one and negative one. So this is just what we are dealing with. What is our missing side length A? So we have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So that A is equal to the square root of 21. 25 minus four is 21. So this is radical 21. Don't know if we need that or not. 
We actually don't. We have And 42 also needs to be done in degrees. Okay. So we have sine theta equals 2 over 5. This implies we take the arc sine of both sides. Okay. So then this is just theta is equal to arc sine of 2 over 5. We are in degrees. So this is, this means theta is about 23.54 degrees. So if we are 23 degrees in this direction, and we also need to be 23 degrees in this direction. So, our theta is about 23.54 degrees and a hundred and fifty six point four six degrees. Okay. Thank you very much. Please go to tutoring.